A file system determines how files and folders are organized on a hard disk, meaning that there can be only one file system per disk volume. Volumes on a disk are normally denoted by a drive letter and a colon, for example, C colon or D colon. Some examples of common file systems include FAT32, NTFS, and more recently, RAFS. FAT32 is a legacy file system mostly used on older drives and can only support volume sizes of up to 32 gigabytes. NTFS is the most commonly used file system today and is able to handle all volume sizes available at the time this course was created. RAFS is not used that often at the time of writing and is therefore beyond the scope of this course. As explained earlier, you can change directories within a command prompt window using the CD command. This can be used either with a relative path or an absolute path. A relative path is the location of a file or folder relative to the current working directory. The current working directory is always displayed in the command prompt window, as highlighted below. An absolute path is the full path to a file or folder. For example, C folder 1 file 2 dot text. Note that to access an absolute path, it must be enclosed within speech marks if it has any spaces. In the real world, it's normally good practice to include all absolute paths in speech marks anyway, as it won't do any harm and it will get you into the habit. To navigate to a relative path, type in the path relative to the current working directory. For example, if the working directory is C folder 1 and you wanted to go to C folder 1 folder 2, you would type CD folder 2. To navigate to an absolute path, type in the absolute path enclosed in speech marks. For example, CD, speech marks, C folder 1, folder 2, speech marks. Now that we've gone over file systems and directory navigation, let's move on to viewing directory structures with DIR and tree.